All right, um, we'll just talk about the um, the wing uh, uh, install um, on the Badass 2. Um, as you know, you get the wings, uh, they're completely uncut. Um, that's that's generally complete across there um, and also across there. So you've got to cut these out, uh, mill them out. Um, you get a PDF from B uh, Badass Models um, with the measurement... Uh, from this point obviously to the center it gives you that measurement uh, also gives you the depth and then obviously it's the uh, width of the the horn to get the horn so um i've got some still photos which i'll add into the video um so you'll see how the marked out literally masking tape on uh, marked out um and then double checked and treble checked again um and then obviously that uh they're milled out to those points uh, that they asked for for the measurements thing you then have to epoxy the horn into the um into the the the, the ailerons and the flaps uh there is a hole that's already there it's rather large um but there's enough space for you to get that right uh temporarily fix that in place and generally make sure that you're you're operating correctly um so that that's what it tells you to do first uh, tack the horn in place then that uh, in the neutral position um, with obviously the, the, the labelled up bags um, you've got left, right, aileron and flaps so um, I, I started with the, the flaps um, that gives you the, the length of the arm obviously with your servo uh, in the neutral position um, centred with your receiver and your transmitter uh, horn in the centre position that gives you then gives you the correct position for this uh, LDS, um, I um, wrapped the servo in uh, cling film, um, uh, installed it into the LDS here with the arm in the right place, um, and then epoxied half hour epoxy all underneath here, uh, slid in position, taped in the neutral place, um, top tip, top tip. Top tip: the um, the pins that you get that go through here. I talked about them in the uh, LDS video. Um, the larger larger ones for this one, the larger one, and then you get a, a smaller one, which obviously fits fits through this part here. Um, I used a piece of um, copper copper wire out of a cable, and it's just wide enough, and you can stick that down dead easy. Slide it in to give you that part because. Trust me, they're a nightmare to get those uh, pins in. Uh, but I only did that last once they were finished. Um, the horns were topped up with um, micro balloons and epoxy, half hour micro balloons and epoxy, filled up to the top either side. They tell you this all in the about as PDF. Um, yep, yeah, and then they were slid in place, weighted down with the weights that come with it, um, left them overnight, um, curing. Both did the same on the aileron and the uh, flap. So. The wings with the notch outs um, on the PDF, they give you the measurement in, <clears throat> which is the center part. Uh, on the flap, there's a larger horn. Um, that's why the LDSs are all labeled up uh, ailerons and uh, flaps. Flaps, the larger horn. Ailerons got a smaller horn. Um, and the measurement's slightly, it's uh, 5.4, I think, or something. On this one um, and six mil on this one um, so obviously that gives you the part to notch out there uh, you also have to cut the the wiper down to the edge of the flap and you also have to uh, grind out the epoxy at the back edge uh, of that so that's where the milling tool definitely comes in just to take some of the epoxy out off the back edge of that um, 
so um <coughs> the ho uh, this horn goes in like that with a little step at the back it's actually the same shape as the aileron so that fits in like so obviously this will all be epoxied in once i've got the lds's in place on the reverse side um and in position with the arms um but this is where the notches are that i mean obviously you've got to start with that and uh so obviously that's in place there and it uh that in place just might just need a tiny little bit of fat then but um as you can see that's just a tiny little bit more out there but um you know I'm, I'm, I'm almost there so it just needs a little bit more fettling um and then obviously i've done the same on the the aileron so that drops in a little bit meter there so that's uh that's where i'm at i've done both the wings exactly the same so uh, we'll concentrate on the lds's now all right thanks <laughs> 